how I got the itch, I guess, is from not being from a farming background is uh, I'd visit uh, my mom's relatives in Illinois and they farmed and boy, it was just something unique. I thought, how can you, you get to stay at home, you get to work and you get to work for yourself and, and what a life that would be. And it started with my dad, he did, he rented just a small place and, and then some pasture and we backgrounded some cattle and, and then fed them out and then we'd sell locker beef. And we did that while I was growing up. and, and uh, so then when I had the chance, I knew I wanted to be in agriculture after that. So I started by selling feed to be close to it. And then the opportunity for the farm that Brett bought that I started on, uh, went into that on shares with an older gentleman. And, uh, but there is something about uh, the value of raising your kids on the farm. Uh, I seen with our kids, with having eight of them and, and growing up in the farm, what's nice today is they are very close with each other and they have close contact and, and work together and it's fun to see that, it's great to see that. They, they come and visit us at least once or twice a month, again, to get some of their mom's good cooking. But oh, what a, what a nice uh, thing to have the house loud. I can just sit there and relax and hearing that loud noise from all of them teasing each other and everything. So it's a, it's a great life if, uh, for a family. All right. Yeah. Good. All right. The amount of acreage we have is, right now the pasture we're in, this area that I have my uh, hog buying station and, and uh, where I keep the cattle during the winter and, and wean my calves. Uh, it consists of 50 acres right in this area, and then uh, I rent another 100 acres just south of here a mile. That's our feed supply. And then between here and actually Dubuque, I have uh, several pastures that add up to about uh, uh, 700 acres of ground I rent to put the cattle on during the summer uh, as, after they calve and we run them out to the pasture then. And then, uh, Brett has 108 or 10 acres there where he lives and he can pasture some cows there and that's where he grows his feedstuffs. And then he rents another pasture, it's probably another 50, 60 acres that he keeps his cows on during the summer. And then uh, Brant, uh, he's, his farm's up by Bellevue next to his father-in-law and uh, 138 acres and then he also, his father-in-law, I don't know the amount of acreage they have but they run the 60 cows together. Yeah, we have 100 acres that we crop farm uh, for mainly corn and then we have 40 acres between feed yards and pasture. How has the pandemic affected my operation? Well, uh, it's affected the prices uh, and depending on when you market it and when you had cattle or hogs ready to go and, and uh, it's affected in the way that it's lowered the price to the producer or to us. Uh, and then uh, it seems like it's affected the price to the consumer paying more money. So we're getting less, they're getting more. And as the way it's working out, the middleman's kind of uh, getting the feast <laughs> off the amount of profit on the, on the, on the uh, product right now. Uh, hopefully that'll settle back in as things come back to normal and we, we all get to make a little bit on what we do. On our store side of things, it's actually been great. Um, with what the grocery store is running out and stuff, we've been able, with our local products we have in there, able to keep stuff on the shelves and so sales have been great there as well. Um, on the feed side of things with Brigham and Brett and myself, you definitely can see it. Um, people are just a little leaner on everything they're doing and our customers have been struggling. It's been more of being a therapist the last few months than um, selling feed and it has its economic challenges and its work side of it. but. All the kids, even us growing up, there's so much that you'll never get from living in the town. It's every day that's something new, good or bad. Like I said, the kids love it. You get all the pets they want. There's no uh, limit on number of animals they can play with. And actually sometimes it's too many, <laughs> they feel. But uh, I think it's taught us a lot of work ethic and putting the drive in you and then you go out and do your own thing. And we're all luckily tied to agriculture in some shape or form and with my kids especially and i think with my nieces and nephews it's all um, giving each of them the opportunity whether they want to come back to farm on a family farm or do their own thing um, and being successful with it is what we look what we're looking for in our kids and enjoying doing it and doing what you love every day and at the end of the day that's what really matters